So my eternal search for the ultimate golf clubs continues, but this was to be a custom fit with a difference. I took an 11 hour flight and traveled 10,000 miles to test what I believe could be the benchmark for iron technology and a level of custom fit precision that is quite unique. But the question is, was it worth the journey? And will these be the clubs that I use in 2022? Hi there, how are you? Uh, Andy Sullivan. Yeah, okay, thank you, cheers. You know, the team of Master Fitters at PXT have always provided an incredible level of detail in their custom fit model. But the introduction of new technology in the Gen 5 lineup means they can take that process up to another level. Oh, and don't go anywhere because something very special happens in this video. So here we are then, the day of reckoning. I'm gonna be testing the new Gen 5 irons from PXG very, very shortly. And I'm hoping that the answer to the dilemma that I've had for this past 12 months, and that being that I want a more blade-like iron from pitch and wedge through to maybe a seven iron, and from seven iron up to the longer end of the bag, which I think will probably stop at a five iron, and want something with a little bit more help and forgiveness. These irons look incredible. The question is, how are they gonna perform in my hands? And uh, I'll find out very shortly because I'm up next, just over my shoulder. Yeah, you ready? <laughs> yeah, let's All go. All right, let's get it going here. We'll Thank start you. the 95. And take a second, you've already hit some wedges, not full swings though, right? Yeah, no. So just kind of loosen up a little bit with that first. Swings, but on like when you're really if, I, if I'm if I'm playing half decent golf I'll try I'll, I'll be happy to hit a draw I'm very sort of flat in the back swing and I've got the tendency to it a bit of a cast at the top and if I if I'm not casting if I can remember the sort of you know to deliver it a bit more inside then I'll let it draw okay got it <laughs> how's the 95 though I, I don't I don't know maybe don't notice right, anything. I think for me, I need, I need, I really don't feel like a bit decent shot yet. So I'll have oh, to have well, a look. No, no right, so okay, before we go any further, we've just got to talk about how these things look. Because for me, I've been a, as you know, a big fan of what PXG have done in terms of looks. This time around, I think they've got it so, so good. These are possibly the best looking irons. In fact, I would say they most definitely are the best looking irons that PXG have produced so far. Just those little tweaks on what happened in Gen 4, a bit of that darker color in that back end. We've still got the nuts and bolts that I was explaining and described as being classic PXG look. But don't forget you've got three models to choose from. You've got the T, you've got the P, and then you've got the XF as well. So you've got so many options in terms of blending the set but they all look very good in terms of being able to streamline those. So no sort of uh, differentials when you're looking in your bag. So for me, on a looks perspective, massive, massive thumbs up. Yeah, PXG, it's a financial benefit, PXG. Exactly. You lose less balls. Yes. Win more money, exactly. I've seen so far, and then I added some weight to the head. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of times when people are more regular, do you normally pick it pretty clean? Yeah, I, I don't take a divot. Don't take a big divot normally. Rarely, no. Gotcha. So when we see that a lot of times, the little extra heavier swing weight, as long as it doesn't yeah. become unwieldy. No, it makes sense. I mean, the one thing in that, I didn't, I really had no idea where that club head was That's at all. what I noticed yeah. there. Those seven, eight swings there. I knew okay. one of them looked very, yeah. didn't look very confident. No. You know what I mean? Yep. If, if, yeah, yeah, huge difference, yeah. So much different, isn't it? Out of the gate. Yeah, Even completely. Just one swing weight. Yeah, yeah, I so different. Those bottom out a lot easier. Yep. Great job. Right. I mean, and I got you into a standard line with that, so. So yeah. Out in two swings with the same head with a better lie angle and the right weight, yeah. you got your best ball of the day. So how that swing weight will work. So anytime you take a half inch off, yeah. change it. And then anytime you do um, 15 grams in a shaft, yeah. or two to two and a half grams in the head, are all swing weight changes and then the, then the grip as well. Um, so since we took, compared to your 110s, 15 grams lighter, we yeah. went down a whole swing weight. Then we added that to go back to that Which gets it back out. Like. Now I'm going to go just one swing weight up. Okay. I'm more up from where we just were. So what's that weight you've put into that now? So, so now this one is going to be a 14 as opposed to a 12. Yeah. We had eight of the start. Where we started on yeah, some yeah. of those misses. Yeah, we were weak, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. And that's, what do you normally hit your 7-iron distance-wise? 
I, I, in that's a 165. 165 is where I'd want to be. Yeah. So 170. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty calm after, right? Yeah. That's totally different feel on the iron as well now. That, kid, that jumped off the face yeah. right there. I'm gonna try that same weight in the one flat because that's member standard again. Yeah. So I'm gonna be. That last ball that went up to 178 carry. Oh, that was 178. Yeah, 178. I, I thought you said 70. No, no, and 178. I was like, well, didn't we just beat it? No, 70. No, well, there's two things, <laughs> and it's it's straight as well. I mean, that's oh, the yeah, those are they're very. Anything I perhaps wanted to look at doing, and I don't know how we'll do it with the loft or what what the lofts are at with these, but just at that shorter end, whether or not I still could get away with the T model at all. Oh, you're saying T on the other one? On, only on a wedge and nine and eight. I don't know. Do you think we'll just lose we, too much? You, uh, well, we, we would just have to make them. I'd have to bend them all strong. No, but in terms of ability-wise, am I going to like struggle too much? Do you think we should stick um, with? No, not with what I've seen. No, yeah. not, not. I mean, not if you're. I mean, they're going to have a little less offset, obviously. So yeah. And promote more to the right, but if you're in your eight, nine pitch, That's or even thinking. nine or nine pitch gap yeah. even yeah do the set nine pitch gap yeah i would still maybe go eight definitely eight, with the, in seven, this end six, and it's a little longer four in the P, yeah and then maybe yeah so, so gap pitch and nine okay so what are we taking from the custom fit so far well like i said there was a determination from me on a personal level to try and get a blended set and try and get those sort of uh more compact looking iron in this case pxg they offer the t model which is the tall model and i'm already in the uh, players model in terms of those gen threes and what i wanted to do was make sure i got a mix of p's and t's and that's the short end of the bag so i've ended up with gap wedge pitching wedge nine and eight in the t model and then i've gone seven six five in the p it's a great mix up because like i said what they've done really really well is that every iron looks exactly the same no matter which model you go for and obviously it's just what suits you on the iron in and around the greens is where i've missed that more compact profile that's what i've ended up with then just a brief mention about forgiveness that's a major thing that i've always looking for and always been fearful of in terms of the t model is that do we lose that forgiveness and i don't feel that we are right well, it's okay so i am very excited right now because behind me is a box of clubs with my name on it they've been put together within 24 hours from the custom fit yesterday and what i've ended up with is something well very different in terms of the iron makeup that i've ever had before in a number of different ways well let's explain later Right now, I'm extremely excited about what we ended up with yesterday, and I hope it's all, I've made the right decisions. Really interested to talk to you about the kind of, the weighting system that has allowed the PXG custom fit team to really go to town in terms of a very personal setup for me. And uh, the ability to do that in every single club in the bag is a real interesting one, and sort of takes another step forward, in my opinion, in terms of custom fit. Talk about that later, but for now, like a child on Christmas morning, I need to get over there and start unboxing my new toys and fingers crossed, I've made the right decisions. Yeah, I feel lovely. Whew, they're really nice. <laughs> I just think they've improved the feel again this year. Feel right. Feel superb, yeah. Yeah, yeah. God. This seriously I cannot believe how good these feel. Right, okay, so you see now we're getting along here. It's all going quite well and according to plan right now, but the interesting thing for me, without doubt, in these Gen 5 irons, and it was in Gen 4, is the ability to really dial in the custom fit. Uh, in my opinion, what they've done with this new system is PXG have taken it to another level in terms of, uh, and they've done it with the, uh, with the woods, the fairways and the driver as well. We'll talk about that on another day. But in terms of this weighting system in the iron, that uh, one central weight can make a huge difference to a number of things and it changes it considerably. And just to explain, when I started um, the fit, the standard weight in the back of here, I think is eight grams. If it's wrong, then I'll put uh, the right information on screen for you now. But I think it's eight grams. Now, 
I found it sort of very light in terms of uh, I couldn't feel where that head was throughout my swing and it's kind of like something that I like to sort of know where that uh, that club head is we changed it to 10 grams and then moved it up into 12 grams in the end and for me it was an absolute game changer because all of a sudden I got much greater control over like I said exactly where that head is in the swing I could feel exactly where I was coming into impact so it's a big big difference and I don't know of anybody that's kind of doing this thing where you can make such a difference but again it's mega important that if you're going to do that then you have to go and get custom fit for these irons and that's where when we start to question price because these are still a very very expensive iron to buy these are the considerations you've got to think of when you're making that purchase why you're paying that extra bit of dough for them and that's one of the main reasons in my opinion right so just when we thought things couldn't get any better this happened. So Brian, I just wonder if you could run through the kind of 18 holes. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, do it again. <laughs> I like that bit. Oh, yeah. Okay, so. Yeah. Take two. I just wonder, Brian, if you could just. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even do anything that time. <laughs> no, I didn't. Go ahead. So. Take three. The um, 18 holes here at scottsdale national this afternoon yeah. we played a match together we played a match so we were we were we were teammates you know we started a little slow mm -hmm. but i really felt like it was baiting we were baiting yeah, yeah definitely yeah i felt that way all along um we were two down mm -hmm. then i hit a i don't know 60 footer for birdie yeah yeah and then won the next hole uh, then you get a hole in one. Did I mention that did, you got a hole in one? Get, oh yeah. Did I get a hole in yeah. one? Got a hole in one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in yeah. 16. For, for that. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. you made a great par on a difficult 17th hole. So we won four on the bounce. So we won. Yeah, we won. Congratulations yeah, on the hole in one too. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, that's Brian from the office in the US. You might recognize him, a very funny man and a great round of golf that I had with him and a little bit of a match we played, but can you believe it? I think I probably hit pitching wedge maybe four or five times up until the moment I arrived on this 16th tee and managed to get an ace. The unfortunate thing was the camera wasn't on so that's the one negative from it but such a great thing to do and uh, I think I've got to be fair to say must be the first person to get a hole in one with Gen 5 in his hands. So the final question is how do I summarize these uh, Gen 5 PXG irons and uh, the simple explanation would be these are the best irons that PXG have ever produced in my mind. And why would I draw that conclusion from? Well, first of all, I think they look like the best irons they've ever made. They certainly feel softer uh, than any iron they've ever made. And they perform incredibly consistent in terms of forgiveness. Couple that with that idea that I said to you about the ability to custom fit in the way they do, then I'm certainly glad that I held off, went through this process uh, yesterday and came up with a set of irons that are re I'm really personally very happy with. And uh, like I said, this hasn't been based on uh, dry ball data in terms of track man, in terms of distance. That's not what I'm looking for. I was looking for very much a tight grouping in terms of dispersion throughout the iron set. I wanted to build a set from the bottom up to the top that suited my eye. And then I wanted to get it dialed in as best as I possibly could as an average golfer. And uh, there's no, as I always say, there's no magic wands, but what this gives you is the best possible chance in going through that process. And like I said, the changes that were made to the weights and the head, it was phenomenal. And I'm so, so pleased uh, with where I've ended up. And I genuinely think that it's something that uh, if you went and tried these, you would be just as impressed as I was. So that's the important bit. Look, let's not get away from the fact that these still sit with a very high price tag. Uh, nothing like what they were when we go back to Gen 1 and Gen 2 in terms of PXG, but these come with a very high price tag. But when you consider what's gone into putting these together, I think you've got to sort of accept the fact that that's what it's got to be. And whether you choose to pay it or not, that's always going to be down to your particular budget. But for me, right now, it's exactly what I'm looking for from a set of irons. And I'll stay in the bag for whatever time it needs. I don't see any reason as to why I'll be changing these because they've, they've done the things that I wanted them to do. Anyway, that's me, finished from uh, Scottsdale National. Fantastic experience, enjoyed every minute of it. As ever, give me your feedback in what you've seen, heard. What are your thoughts on Gen 5 irons from PXG? And I'll see you all very soon.